The Bureau of Land Management's Billings Field Office has teamed up with the U.S. Forest Service Region 1, the Northern Rocky Mountain Grotto, Montana Conservation Corps, and the Geological Society Corps to inventory caves in the Pryor Mountains. The impetus behind this project is there are a lot of known caves in the Priors and there are a lot of areas that have never been inventoried, so we're unsure as to how many more caves are out there. Our real focus is to identify cave locations and also to identify whether or not those are significant caves. And once we make that identification, we'll then go through an evaluation process and ideally designate a large number of caves in the Priors as significant under the Federal Cave Resource Protection Act. To determine the cave significance, AmeriCorps and GeoCorps, along with the BLM and Forest Service, are exploring these new caves looking for things like formations, pools or water sources, archaeology, and other significant findings. These findings will help determine the significance for BLM and Forest Service recreation purposes. Our crew is kind of split up into a diverse team. Um, I'll be the geologist, so I'll be taking a look at anything that might be important significantly. Of course, I have my geologic tools like a hand lens and, and some acid bottles. Um, and then Carl will be our archaeologist looking for anything significant. The priors do have a lot of, a lot of history there, so we might find something cool. And then uh, we have Kara as our biologist. Um, she'll be watching out for anything important when it comes to that. While doing inventory of the caves, the team will also be searching for bats. Dan Bakken, senior zoologist with the Montana Natural Heritage Program, is working with the cave crew to help them identify bats and a survey for PD, or white nose syndrome. PD is a pathogenic fungus that um, causes white nose syndrome in some species of bats and is responsible for the deaths of anywhere from between five and seven million animals, primarily on the East Coast. Um, so Montana, in collaboration with um, Fish, Wildlife and Parks, USGS and BLM and Forest Service, we also do surveillance for the disease here. We haven't detected it yet, but um, part of what I'm going to be doing here is going in and swabbing any bats that we find or the areas where they're roosting to see if we can detect that disease. The crew recently found its first new cave and will be working throughout the summer on the project.